On our last video tutorial, Noritake showed you how to set up a table for a casual occasion. Today we will take you through each step of setting up a formal dinner table. Whether you are celebrating for Easter or Christmas, or simply having friends and family over for a dinner party, creating a visually stunning table setting is always fun. However, with up to 20 pieces of crockery, glassware and silverware, it can all be a little confusing. Setting a formal table is more complicated than setting the table for a casual occasion. But the attention to detail needed adds a special touch and shows your guests how much effort you have gone through. First, let's go through everything we will be using today. Hampshire Platinum is a bestseller in our formal collections. All items are chip resistant and dishwasher safe. The Chamonix cutlery is manufactured from the highest quality 1810 stainless steel and is dishwasher safe and gift boxed as a set. We will be using these beautiful handmade in Italy IVV Vizio glasses which are all dishwasher safe and gift box. We need the long tumbler, red wine, white wine and champagne glasses. There are lots of ways to decorate the table, depending whether you want to be elaborate or keep it simple. To set the scene, we have used a tablecloth with table runner and flowers as a centerpiece. Accessory items from Hampshire Platinum are all sold separately, so you can select which items best suit your requirements. So let's begin with how to set up a formal table. First, situate a placemat in line with the guest chair, about an inch from the edge of the table. You may choose to use a charger or service plate for your setting. However, today we'll be leaving this out. Place the dinner plate in the middle of the placemat. Next, place the entree plate on top of the dinner plate. Soup is usually served as the first course, so when you serve the soup, remove the entree plate and replace it with the soup plate. After the soup course, remove the soup plate and again place the entree plate on top. Place a folded napkin to the left of the plate. Placing the cutlery in the correct positions is essential. This means we should place the dinner fork and knife on the inside. The dinner fork should be placed on the left of the plates. The dinner knife goes to the right of the plates. Next, we place the entree fork to the left of the dinner fork. And the entree knife goes to the right of the dinner knife. The soup spoon should be placed to the right of the knives. Lastly, place the dessert spoon horizontally on top of the plates. The spoon should be pointing to the left. You can now see we have the soup first, then entree, main and lastly dessert. The bread and butter plate goes to the top left at the 10 o'clock position. Now, let's go through the different glasses you can use for your formal setting. The water tumbler should be placed directly above the dinner knife, aligned with the bread and butter plate. Next, the red wine glass should be placed slightly to the right of the water tumbler. The white wine glass goes to the right of the red wine glass. And finally, the champagne glass goes behind the two wine glasses, as this is used last with the dessert course. You now have a beautiful formal setting ready for guests. Alternatively, you may like to use an accent plate instead of the entree plate. In this case, replace the entree plate with the accent plate. Accent plates are often used as a decorative contrast, adding intricate detail to your formal setting.